hey girl, hey. Today we are talking about how girlfriends can make or break your relationship. I'm Shamika Sanders and alongside me are my co-hosts Kiara Kelly and Africa Miranda. Pull up and let's get into it because this is a good topic for today's episode of Listen to Black Women. Your friends will have a lot to say about your relationship, and some of it can be helpful, but some of it could be harmful. It's up to you to determine what that means for you and your relationship. All leading us to the question of the week, are your girlfriends sabotaging your relationship? I think the first thing we've got to really do define, what does this sabotage look like? Because I think any woman knows you're only as good as your tribe, mm -hmm. but I've learned from personal experience, everything does not need to make it to the group chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The run and tell that syndrome, it's like, oh, I saw, you know, did you see that picture he liked? Just volunteer extra information when you know maybe it could be taken good or bad. Another issue with friends is that, you know, as we get in these relationships, you know, sometimes you want to keep things to yourself or like the dynamics of the relationships change. And a lot of times friends can really feel some kind of way of being like left out the loop or getting iced out. So it's, I think the other question is like, how do you handle that? That's a very good point because I have an unpopular opinion, which is I do not think you should be telling your girlfriends all of your personal relationship information. Her wounds are not your wounds. So you could call your girl and be like, oh, I haven't heard from my man in one day and your girl could be triggered and she'd be like oh my god her abandonment issues are flared up yes. and she's like oh my gosh you should leave him he's not treating you right like we also have to acknowledge where people are when you're asking them for relationship yes. advice because otherwise they can steer you the wrong way yeah I think the foundation for me is choosing good friends because not everyone is your friend and <laughs> frenemies so, are real that starts first and when you have those friends and those relationships hopefully you've built up a relationship enough to know this is what works for you this is what works for me because that for me is good friendship right there and also too to be careful not to dissuade women from telling their friends anything because you know what can happen in a relationship you can lose yourself and men can also use it as an emotional and mental abuse to keep your friends away from you so that they can do whatever they want to you and you don't tell them let's take it to these social media streets and see what you guys had to say about this very topic lane trill tweeted you have problems, issues, and concerns in your relationship. Talk it out with your partner, not to your friends and family, because all they do is judge you and dictate you on what you must do, and they don't share the same heart and love as you do for the person. There's two parts. One is that, yes, there are some things that you know only need to be within the relationship, and as we said, people can give their outside. But I think the other issue, though, is that you have to decide to, if you're really going to stay with this partner, because it's not sabotage if your friends are like, you've come to me five times telling me the same thing about this man, and maybe you should leave him. That's not sabotage. I think another thing to think about with this sabotage conversation is that a lot of people, like, you know, especially men, will say, oh, your friends are hating on the relationship. And as like the woman, I do think we need to take some onus on if we're running to our friends every time he does something, and then of course their response is going to be negative if you're coming to him to your friends for the fifth time saying yeah. he didn't treat me right, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. That's not a friend sabotage, and that's a friend saying what are you going to do? So I think you also need to really ask yourself, are you trying to stay in this relationship? You know, if you're constantly oversharing the negative, then yes, everybody's going to hate your partner. Everybody. Yeah. I think too in this tweet what stood out to me is to talk it out with your partner and I, I agree that you should talk out things with your partner but there are some things that are uh, sex barriers where I feel like <laughs> if I'm talking to my girlfriend like I can get her to understand because I'm a woman and like talking to my partner he just may not get it right way and also having that outside person it may help you craft how to say it back to your yeah. partner a lot of times I look to my girlfriends to be like am I bugging and that's the great thing about girlfriends too because not only can they help us filter through you know how to craft a message or whether we should pop off or not but they can really help de-escalate some yeah. situations because women like to vent and get things out and the friend can be like okay take a breather right. it's all right before you go and like ruin your relationship another tweeter wrote no matter how happy you are or how hectic it is in your relationship do not share it with your friends mm. This is interesting. I think this comes from, from that age old, don't tell your girl what's going on. I mean, it's in the same bucket as like, I don't got no female friends. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. Oh, like, no. And that can lead to suffering in silence. It's yes. sometimes you start to normalize the foolishness and you know, when you finally do tell your friends, they're like, well, girl, we saw this months ago, but yeah. you weren't, you know, you weren't talking to us or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think you should not tell anything. Yeah. yeah. And definitely share the happiness. Yeah. At least, yeah. Because they, the your friends, if they're your friends, they want you to yeah. be happy. happy. Shani tweeted, do not share your relationship problems with the whole world. A small group of friends is cool, but social networks, hell nah. That's another episode. <laughs> oh my, like there's some people you can chart like the ups and downs of their entire relationship, and I'm like, ooh. Well, that was interesting to see what social media had to say about it, but I'm wondering 
what the people said in the polls. Kiara, the receipts. Yes, as always, we <laughs> poll our MadamNoir.com audience to find out what you think about friends sabotaging your relationships. First, we asked, has a friend ever tried to sabotage your relationship? With 65% saying no, <laughs> and 21% saying yes, and 14% saying kinda. Mm. I wonder what the kindas are. I mean, kinda, kinda, kinda is when you have that friend that's like, they're happy for you, but. Mm, mm. That comma like, but. Oh, like, oh, that's nice. Mm. You know, they're, they're absolutely ready to take yeah. part in like the bad parts of the conversation. But like you said, if you're sharing something wonderful that like he did, I mean, that's nice, but he didn't do this. How do you define sabotage? I mean, it can be outright lying. It could be something where, you know, again, just like undermining your relationship, that whole you haven't heard from him in a day, or you, like some friends take it so far where they're stalking your man's social media for you and just running back and telling you every yeah. single thing. Yeah. And it's just, you're doing too much. We also asked, how has a girlfriend sabotaged your relationship in the past? Mm -hmm. With 56% said, giving advice from personal pain, not actually related to your personal situation. We talked about that. 28% yeah. said they sabotaged them by encouraging them to live their best life. And 16% said because their girlfriends have demanded more time hmm. from the relationship as a single woman. That's another aspect. Yeah. I think too with foundation, good friends and also a good person for yourself because yeah. you also have to know which friends to tell certain things to. We asked what part of your relationship is off limits to your oh. girls. 12% said sex details, 7% said money, 15% said my partner's personal issues, and 54% said all of the above, and 12% oh. said nothing is off limits. Ooh, mm. that's gonna make the men scared. They're like, you telling my, your friends I'm in? I feel like the only thing I've <laughs> never shared is this, you know, if it's a situation where the person had some sort of personal trauma, yes. you know, like that's something I would never share. And I also look at it, what would I not want, you know, said about me? Yeah then I wouldn't I wouldn't share that. But in my group chats and love my close, like I said, my cousins, like yeah. my close friends, no, we ever there's really probably nothing's off yeah. limits other than like some sort of personal trauma. I agree too with um, holding safe space for your partner's yeah. issues because I'm also his friend too. Yes. And just like I'm not gonna tell him my girlfriend's really deep personal exactly. things. Yeah. I wouldn't betray his trust like no. that. So to keep the conversation going, we always find really good articles that kind of help us dig deeper. Today, uh, Kenya Foy shared an article on HelloGiggles.com, and it says, whatever you choose to discuss with your friends, make sure that you treat your partner with the utmost respect and only disclose things about your relationship that you're both comfortable sharing with others. Okay. Um, I, yeah, it's definitely, I think you should only share things that both feel comfortable with, but I realize, I don't know that I've ever had the conversation about what's okay not to share. Some stuff I just assumed, like, okay, yeah. this, this I shouldn't share. Absolutely. Have you had that? That conversation yeah it's it's happened before where you know me and my boyfriend working through like a top line issue mm -hmm. and he's like you know it's okay for you to discuss this with your mom and just get her input on it yeah. and see how she feels and I appreciated having that because sometimes you really just need other eyes and ears yeah. a mediator someone who is outside of it but mm -hmm. loves you both and can understand exactly and it's yeah. not about breaking that bond of trust but yeah like you said if it's more than you can really handle you do need help sometimes so ladies again another insightful conversation I love chatting with you guys but Kiara give the audience a takeaway our girlfriends are crucial to our relationships we love yes. them they help us out but you do have to vet your audience a little bit when you're bringing them problems and issues you're having within your relationship because sometimes they can't handle that information and they may be harmful more than they are helpful thank you for that word Kiara another dope episode of listen to black woman make sure you check us out on hellobeautiful.com and madamnoir.com and until next week be blessed